Hello everyone, Jules Gos Kamper from Team Infinity and today in this video I want to talk about the uh, Infinity i14 tool and uh, I would like to uh, tell you something about uh, my world car. Um, it's been a week ago since uh, the World Championship in Gubbio in Italy and um, yeah, I should say I was uh, really happy to make the final. Uh, I qualified fi uh, fifth and uh, after some rough final I uh, just finished tenth. But uh, in a way, I felt uh, I felt good. Uh, the car was competitive. It was fast from the start. Uh, in some qualifiers, I could fight uh, for the, for the second place, third place, and um, yeah, I felt over the months uh, we really uh, we really improved the uh, i forty two. And um, yeah, I, I just want to show you my car, what I what I did, uh, what what are the changes uh, we made, uh, uh, not only during the the race, but uh, just especially uh, the last few months, uh, what option parts we have on the car. Um, can tell you something about the electronics and uh, the body shell that I chose. So uh, come and have a look. So looking at the front of the car, see a few uh, new things. The lower front shock tower with uh, shorter shocks. They are a lot shorter. Um, I believe it's about three or four uh, mm shorter. And um, yeah, it just helps the, the just the overall uh, uh, center of gravity. Um, because of the thinner uh, shock tower in front, uh, we have also a carbon brace, and uh, we have a soft and a medium type to uh, yeah just to uh, to tune the flex of the bulkhead. And uh, as you can see, also um, we have a new line of uh, springs. This is the SMJ, and uh, we have a full line of new springs for the short shocks. So from uh, the linear shocks from 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, uh, we have also the pro progressive uh, shock uh, springs, uh, 25 to 8, 26 to 9, 255 to 85. So uh, yeah, just a lot of uh, choices. So on the end, I use a 25 to 8 in front. That's the yellow one. And um, yeah, looking to more stuff, uh, as you know, the super lightweight uh, outdrive for the spool. The outdrive uh, for the CVD, or I mean the lightweight CVDs. Um, as you can see on the caster block, we made two holes for uh, a body stopper. Uh, yeah, on the end, on the IFMAR rules, uh, the body has to be a lot higher, so uh, we didn't really uh, have to use it. So let's go to the rear section of the car. So looking at the rear, um, pretty much the same thing. Also. Uh, a lower shock tower with a shorter shocks um, and in the rear I use a 2.7 spring it's also uh, the new SMJ spring and uh, for me uh, this traction uh, with this spring I had the most traction and it worked really well um, for the detail ones this is uh, the super light um, uh, axle it uh, makes more light and also we have uh, some new uh, lightweight uh, drive shaft. Uh, there's a hard coated, so uh, the wear was a minimum. I use this uh, drive shaft for all the race and uh, still uh, without any play. So that's uh, really nice. So looking more to the rear section of the car, as you can see, uh, we use the, uh, the PRS system. With the PRS system, uh, the rear has just more rotation. So uh, it works really well also. Uh, it's um, the, 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 the tire is, um, I think uh, with the PRS system, the, um, the steering is, uh, is, more, is more smooth and actually you, uh, you don't have so much uh, tire drop as, uh, as, the, as the regular uh, rear, rear upright. So that's why we choose to use the PRS. Um, yeah, looking to my electronics, uh, as you can see uh, Orca, it's a, a 4.5, uh, 12.3 rotor, just a bit more feeling. Maybe on Sunday when the traction was not as high in the finals, I could have tried 12.1 rotor just to have it a bit more smooth. But anyway, uh, I think this was, uh, was a really good power and uh, no uh, further issues. Uh, as you can see the battery, it's a 6390. Uh, with the 60, I felt, uh, or the, the 6000, I felt uh, it was a bit too critical on the, on the runtime. 
and uh, so on uh, Q2 I also had some trouble so I went to the bigger battery and uh, it worked out with a little bit more heavier body uh, battery I moved the battery one millimeter more inside to get the right balance uh, left right now as you can see I also have my own uh, servo brand now the JG Racing uh, servo and uh, yeah I've been uh, using the servo for quite some uh, months now and uh, I uh, feel very uh, good uh, with it. It's uh, very uh, uh, precise and powerful, especially on a high, high, uh, high speed uh, track like Kubio. It uh, works uh, really well. And um, yeah, more details soon. Uh, we uh, kind of plan to have this in the, in the shop soon or um, at least uh, for sale. So uh, yeah, just check it, check it when it's uh, gonna be available. Yeah, furthermore, um, as you can probably see, there's a 306 belt instead of a 309. That means that the rear diff um, was mo uh, moved a little bit more forward. And also this uh, gave a bit more steering uh, while, when we were practicing. And uh, this overall gave uh, us uh, yeah, a better feel. Um, yeah, look on the bottom. Uh, Use the steel screws just to have all the weight down. The minimum weight was 1350 so uh, it was easy to make the weight as you can see uh, the motor mount flex i only used the uh, screws in the rear nothing here so uh, yeah it gives you more and more steering yeah furthermore uh, you can see the the chassis rolls uh, nicely um yeah that's um pretty much uh the car um the difference on the car that we made so again um yeah I was really happy uh, with the car performance and uh, I think uh, we were very very close uh, to the fast guys uh, that uh, means that uh, our car is competitive and uh, with the change that we made uh, it's going in the in uh, the good um, in a good way in a good direction uh, the boy shell I used um, uh, I used the extreme twister I ran the normal twister not the speciale some guys in the final ran the Speciale. I felt a little bit more comfortable with the, with the normal twister. Just, just a bit more aggressive. Um, yeah, again on Sunday in the final uh, with, the, with the track uh, not having so much traction. Maybe the Speciale was another choice, but uh, nah, anyway, I choose the twister. And um, yeah, it's uh, mounted uh, quite uh, just forward. This was a lightweight, not a super lightweight. Uh, super lightweight uh, or the what do you say the ultra lightweight you need stiffeners and everything and uh, I think on the end it didn't really matter uh, also uh, by the weight wise so I choose to run this and um, I think it was okay um, yeah so um, these are the new uh, the new option parts that we have now um, I'm not sure when it's uh, when it's available but uh, I think it's uh, gonna be pretty soon uh, again, the shorter shocks uh, made the car just more fast, more steering, more, 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 more direct. Uh, the new SMJ line springs are uh, working uh, very, very well. Um, they, they felt better than any other spring I tried. Um, the diff more for it in the rear, for sure, is, uh, is a gain. And uh, we played also a bit with the flex of the, of the top deck, so we cut out all the way here. Also, uh, yeah. It also helped a lot, so all these uh, things um, made the car uh, a lot faster. So uh, very happy with it. Uh, soon I'm gonna post uh, the setup of the car. Um, it's quite um, quite different than uh, what I normally run, and um, I also tried the setup already in Hempstead track in my home track. Actually, works really well. So I think uh, this setup also can be used at um, yeah just at, at other tracks. And uh, I think this is a pretty uh, good uh, basic setup uh, as well. So uh, try it for, uh, just out for yourself. So that was it. That was my uh, world's car. Gonna put it uh, on the shell now. It's uh, nice to uh, to keep this car just for uh, just for a memory for the future. And uh, we're gonna work on uh, on more and more improvements uh, for the i14 too. So stay tuned.